Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight. And last week we hit our 20th season and our 100th episodes. Thank you so much for the support, for the encouragement. So this week we start on the 21st season and we thank God for the grace and the support. God bless you on the daily insight. And this week we start a new topic and we are going to be talking about favor. I believe that though we are all subjects of God's blessings, some seem to be more blessed than others. And I believe that favor has something to do with that. And let me ask you a question. What was it that God attracted God to Mary? There were many virgins at that time. But the Bible says in Luke 1, 28, the angel said to Mary, uh, Greetings to you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And that's the type of favor I want to tell you about this week. Because throughout the Bible, in the word, the word favor is used in various ways. It can mean grace. It can mean acceptance. But I want to examine this favor from the dictionary definition. It means approval. It means support. It means goodwill. It means above and beyond. Kindness, preference, all of this is available to us as believers. And as we can see from the lives of many Bible characters, and as we continue to study this week about this favor, we will find examples of people who had favor of God on their lives. And we will also discover how can we attract God's favor in our own lives. It is important also to note that when we talk about favor, we do not mean favorism. We know that God does not show partiality. We are not talking about partiality because he does show favor, but he is not a God of partiality. Favor is not love because God loves everyone the same. Favor is not grace because we are saved through by through grace by faith. It is not about a blessing, although God's favor leads to blessing. Favor is something more and it will change your life. So every day I will be touching on two keys that can attract favor in our lives. And one of the major key, and today allow me to just dive in. I know most of the Mondays I just do an introduction and I leave you at that. But today I just allow me to just dive in with two keys. I'll give you two keys and we continue. One of the keys to attract God's favor in your life is loving God. Love God with all your heart without loving him. We cannot expect to gain favor with him. This is one of the major key. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 verse 1 to 4, My son, do not forget my teachings, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart, then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Loving God, loving God with all your heart. We have to love God. By loving God, we win favor or we attract favor with God. We attract favor with God. And if there is one thing that God desires is that we love him. He loved us first. It is not too much for him to ask us to love us, to love him back. And he 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 wants a relationship. He tried it the the the, the commandments way. He tried to put it as a law from the times of Moses. He said, You shall love the Lord your God. But still people went astray and they they, they sought other gods. He tried it. To display his love by giving his only begotten son. And even today, he is still there outstretched and saying, I love you 
won't you love me back and it's 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 amazing how much favor we can get from him once we love him so this is one key i want you to know one key to attract favor in your life is to love god love god with all your heart because without loving him we cannot expect to gain his favor key number 2 that i want us to know today is love people what are you doing for the kingdom what are you doing for others if you want god's favor then start caring for people and we find this in the life of ruth ruth found favor with boaz because of the things she had done and james says faith without works is dead and i'm just using ruth as an example but there are many other people who found favor and there are many other people who received miracles and their lives were changed just because of the things they did for others love others the bible says in matthew 25 that is 4 to 40 the king will reply truly i tell you whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine you did for me what are you doing for others boaz replied in ruth 2:11 to 12 i have been told all about what you have done for your mother in law since the death of your husband how you left your father and mother your homeland and came to live with the people you did not know before may the lord repay you for what you have done may the lord richly reward you may you be richly rewarded by the lord may the god of israel under whose wing you have come to take refuge reward you ruth was noticed for what she had done she received more than she asked for special treatment protection more than enough because she loved people you can refer also to the raising up from the dead of tabitha she was raised from death because of what she had done for people love people it attracts favor so today we've just covered two keys of attracting god's favor in your love in your life love god and love people this is pastor lucy painter with your daily insight and this is favor day 1 shalom <music>